The psychosocial crisis described by Erickson during the adolescent years is ego identity versus role confusion. During this period, adolescents begin to reassess their identities, seeking to determine who exactly they are. Adolescence is a period marked with uncertainty, and teenagers may feel uncomfortable and awkward about their bodies as they develop. Exploration of peer groups, experimentation in self-expression, and seeking out interests that will later become a person's life's work all take place during adolescence. Role confusion develops when an adolescent is unable to form their own identity within society. The virtue of fidelity develops when an adolescent has a firm grasp on who he or she is as a person. Fidelity is involved in genuineness, a sense of responsibility to others in their personal relationships, and acceptance of others even in cases of ideological disagreement. Piaget describes the next stage of development as the formal operational stage. Beginning at roughly 11 years of age, individuals begin to be able to think about abstract concepts and logically test hypotheses. Of the test Piaget devised to test this stage, the third eye problem is among the most interesting. Children were asked where they would place a third eye on a human, and then asked why. Experiments showed the development of more creative thinking when older children placed the extra eye on a hand stating that a person would be able to see above and around objects. Younger children, still in the concrete operational stage, tended to place the eye in the middle of the forehead. Most of our greatest achievements can be attributed to formal operational thought. Music, chemistry, law, philosophy, advertising, and even video game design would be but stifled versions of what we know today in the absence of this stage.